Especially According to our inside source. That's right. And we've they got a, don't lie. We've got a food critic mm -hmm. in house. All right. Well, I uh, want to give you a little heads up right now. There's going to be a slowdown, a slow zone right in the CTA's Red Line South Branch for at least the next week. A small crack has developed on the tracks near the 95th Street Station. And did you have a lot of fun over the weekend? I know that uh, Melody and I went ice skating with John and his kids and his wife. That's right. Spared us nice from breaking time. our ankles out there. Thank right. you very much. And the weather, of course, definitely warmed up. Many of you were out and about as well, like the family here vicariously for you at home. Oh, love it. All right, still ahead here on Good Day Chicago. We're talking about free, as in free 99. This is the price we like. It is the key word here. Uh, the new way you can file your taxes for free, courtesy of the IRS. And a liking lawsuit. The man suing Facebook over a like on his page. 842, time for Money Watch. And Lauren Simonetti, who is live with Fox Business Network in New York. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning. So I was, a, I think I've been talking about this for weeks now. I had to get a new debit card because uh, my account was compromised with the whole Target uh, snafu and now yeah. more consumers could be impacted because of other retailers. More consumers, of course, tax season, unfortunately, I hate to talk about this any day and it has to be a Monday, <laughs> yeah. uh, is just around the corner, but the IRS offering free electronic tax filing. Yeah, it's called, <laughs> and we'll see how many people actually do. All the good yeah. non-procrastinators out there. All right, thanks so much, Lauren. All right, see you later. See you later. And a lawsuit over the like button. Sure. And then it popped up on your page that you're, you know, a fan of this group. Hmm. Yeah, that could be bad mm. for your reputation in some cases. All right, all right. Good. Wish him well with that lawsuit then. I got, you we'll got see. a point. All right. Still ahead on Good Day Chicago, we'll tell you about a crime alert and the neighborhood seeing an uptick in one specific crime. And a CPS controversy, our Joni Love live following that story. A new report accuses some Chicago public school administrators of faking data. And Joni Lum, she right now has a live report from us, or for us, I should say. She's down at school board headquarters in downtown Chicago. Joni Good morning. Good morning, China News. Okay, Joni, thank you very much. A lot of chapters left to be written in that one. Mm -hmm. We'll keep an eye on it for you. All right, it's at 8.51 right now. Still a lot here on Good Day Chicago, and I, I guess you can say they were just letting it all hang out. What a lot of commuters were missing when they hopped on the train yesterday. Keep it here and check it out. More Good Day Chicago is next. It is 8.54 and here are some of our top stories. Later today, we will get an update on the Chicago Police Department's war against illegal firearms. Yeah, Chicago Police yep. happened to be uh, riding that red line train yesterday afternoon. You might have been for a big surprise. Uh, maybe uh, you thought you noticed a couple people without you know, any pants on. Well, if that's what you saw, you were absolutely correct. It wasn't a figment of your imagination. It was no pants subway ride day. Ah, one of my favorite days of the year. Brilliant. Not really, but riders in major metropolitan cities, including Chicago, drop their pants and Mel a lot of good stuff first we are talking Golden Globes okay. Corey hasn't stopped talking about this since he came in this morning the fashion yes the, the dresses hits and misses beautiful. Corey was very upset about some of the dresses <laughs> yeah. he saw last night I correct? love uh, do we call her J-Law yeah. J-Law's dress then yeah well I, I just thought it was uh, not as bad as some people are saying I okay thought, give I, her a break yeah, I That's thought all you were I'm a big saying. Dior fan I thought yeah. that that was the case well, well I, I like that particular house of fashion you yes. do like that yeah. house of fashion uh, we're also going to talk about Jimmy Kimmel <laughs> A lot, of, a lot of noise about Jimmy yeah. and uh, this petition. <laughs> Here is what is in the news now. This morning we begin with a water rescue overnight that turned deadly. Anita Padilla live along the river downtown and Anita Rodman in that country for a pickup basketball game in honor of Kim Jong-un's birthday. It is now 9.03. Let's send it over to Mark. You know, that's just me. All right, uh, Mel, watching all the stars looking their best at the Golden Globes last night might have given you a little inspiration maybe to start a diet or head to the gym if your New Year's resolution didn't do it. Dr. Mona joining us now for House Call. How's it going? Going. It's going great. Good. We've got a lot of good information we to get do. to. We do. Okay, so if you want to embark on a new diet and exercise routine, you know, some people think, well, I've got a friend who's running a half marathon. Maybe that's a good fit for me. Not right. necessarily, though. Exactly, or even a full marathon. You know, if you were inspired last night, Doing it. where do we start? Where do we begin with our exercise routine? We have some really good information from exercise physiologists and even some of our... Right. What do they all have in common? Great commonalities. This is what you should be looking at for your diet. And then finally, the pitfalls of some of these diets. Right, exactly. You want to do the right thing, but you, you, your body isn't showing it. Why? Well, here's why. Possibly you're eating too much outside food, whether you're taking out or dining in.